one constant of every new waking day. 360,000 people will be born today, and with them comes perhaps the most thought-provoking experience of them all. But what actually is life? Is it the moment of first consciousness? Perhaps the inexplicable feeling of complete exhilaration? Or just the result of biological processes working in tandem? Some would define life as a collection of moments throughout an ever-changing shared experience. But what does this assortment of momentary experiences actually result in? Do we just fade into an eternal blackness? Or is there something more waiting for us at the end of our lifetimes? An age-old question, and one that we've tried to explore in this documentary. Is there life after death? In order to even attempt answering this question, we decided to start our hunt for answers by undertaking research in one of England's most historical and intellectual cities, Oxford. Oxford is known all across the globe for being home to one of the most prestigious universities in the world. But it is the history that draws millions in across the world every year. Nicknamed the city of dreaming spires, this was the perfect place to start our descent into the world of spiritualism. And rather fittingly, Look into our first topic, dreams. Dreaming is something that has been an integral part of humanity throughout all of history, a constant companion to human consciousness, and just maybe the bridge between our world and other dimensions. It was during our research in Oxford, we discovered that there are two prominent types of dreaming that may link to spirituality. Those being lucid dreaming and astral projection. A lucid dream is defined as a dream where a dreamer becomes aware they are dreaming, they fully control the dream and the dream environment and can manipulate it at will. We discovered that lucid dreaming dates back thousands of years to ancient India and the Far East, with documentation also seen in places such as the pyramids of Egypt. Similarly to lucid dreaming, astral projection is also a form of dreaming that is closely linked to spirituality. During our research for this documentary, we discovered a strong link between the occurrence of dreaming and spirituality. According to our research, a lot of spiritualist experiences actually take place in dreams, and we found that while someone may not be comfortable talking about spiritualism, they would happily talk about their dream experiences. More than 40% of the candidates who took part in our survey had experienced a lucid dream or astral projection. These people would therefore be more in touch with their spiritual side. Another aspect of this so-called spiritual side is the third eye. It is seen as the meta-organ of the body. Essentially, it is your mind and all of your senses working together as one in a much more powerful way. Everyone has and can use their third eye. However, it can be developed to be much more powerful. The most common way people use their third eye is by lucid dreaming and astral projection. The third eye is a doorway to all things psychic and spiritual. 